let's use some basic knowledge about triangles to solve some problems. Stay tuned. Welcome to Math Bites. I'm Allison. And today, we're going to apply some basic knowledge about triangles to solve some problems. If you're new to working with triangles, watch our video on triangle basics. Here's our first problem. This is an isosceles right triangle. Find the measures of all three interior angles. Give it a try. Okay, let's take a look. This is a right triangle. That means that one of the angles measures 90 degrees. So the measure of angle one equals 90 degrees. Now the sum of the interior angles of any triangle equals 180 degrees. So that means we have 180 minus 90 or 90 degrees left over to make up with the other two angles. So the measure of angle two plus the measure of angle three will equal 90 degrees. Now this is also an isosceles triangle, meaning that the legs and the other two interior angles are equal to each other. So the measure of angle two equals the measure of angle three. So we can rewrite our equation as the measure of angle two plus the measure of angle two, or two times the measure of angle two equals 90 degrees. Multiplying both sides by one half to get rid of our coefficient of two, and we get that the measure of angle two is equal to 45 degrees. But that's equal to the measure of angle three. So the measure of angle three is also equal to 45 degrees. To solve this problem, we use the definitions of a right and an isosceles triangle. And we also use the triangle sum theorem, which states that the sum of the interior angles in any triangle is 180 degrees. Let's take a look at our next problem. You're setting up a community garden that is triangular in shape. What is the area of your garden? Give it a try, and I'll be here when you're ready. Okay, the area of a triangle is equal to one-half base times height, where the height is the perpendicular distance from the base to the opposite vertex. So in this case, our base B is equal to 30 feet, and the height is equal to 18 feet. So we plug that in, and we get that the area is equal to 1 half 30 times 18. 30 times 18 is 540, so 1 half 540. So the area of our garden is 270 square feet. Now remember, any side can be the base, and the height is just the perpendicular distance from whatever side you're calling the base, to the opposite vertex. So don't let the orientation of the diagram throw you, like this one might have. Let's take a look at our last problem. This is an equilateral triangle. What are the measures of the three interior angles, and what are the lengths of the three sides? Okay, give it a try. Okay, let's take a look. The sum of the interior angles equals 180 degrees. So the measure of angle one plus the measure of angle two plus the measure of angle three equals 180 degrees. But this is an equilateral triangle. That means that the measure of angle one is equal to the measure of angle two, which is equal to the measure of angle three. So we can rewrite our equation as the measure of angle one plus the measure of angle one plus the measure of angle one, or three times the measure of angle one, equals 180 degrees. We'll multiply both sides by one-third to get rid of our coefficient of three, and we get that the measure of angle one is equal to 60 degrees, and the measure of angle two is equal to 60 degrees, and the measure of angle three is equal to 60 degrees. Now, what about the lengths of the sides? We actually don't have enough information to answer that question. In any equilateral triangle, the three angles always each measure 60 degrees. But the side lengths, we don't know that unless we're told something else about the triangle. 
So while you can always figure out the measure of the interior angles in an equilateral triangle, you have to be given some more information to know something about the lengths of the sides. There's a lot to working with triangles, but these basic facts will come in very handy as you move along to more complex problems. That's it for this episode of Math Bites. If you like our videos, please subscribe to our channel. And if there's something you'd like to ask us, just send us an email. We're at contactmathbites at gmail.com, and I'll see you next time.